All right, what's on the bench? Uh, this was sent into the channel by uh, Zoyi. Um, they make all kinds of nice uh, instruments, and uh, they saw one of my videos, and they contacted me, and they said, hey, would you like anything else? And I've, I picked out a few things. This is one of their newest products, I believe. Uh, these are LCR uh, tweezers. Now, um, well, I'll show you what comes. It comes in a nice little case and charging cord and everything like that, USB-C. Um, so um, I've had a pair of tweezers like this before. Uh, let me show you those. Uh, I bought these a long time ago thinking they were going to be great. And they turned out to be garbage. <laughs> I really don't like these. Um, so, you know, they have a little LCD display. But you have to tell it what you're doing, whether you're doing R, Ds, and Cs, or you're doing these diodes, or you're doing battery. Anyway, you have to tell it which function, and um, it's kind of clunky on the hand. It, when you hold it where you need to hold it, it's like really back heavy. The tweezers don't work. They don't line up right. Um, it's everything about it is garbage. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this one away. Um, so uh, the the uh, new one here is very nice. It feels really good in the hand. It's balanced well. The the weight sits right on your hand, so it doesn't feel um, back heavy. Um, the uh, display is super nice. And uh, you can set up the display to uh, either be uh, right-handed or left-handed. You, you, you can flip it for you lefties. Um, it can do auto detection. Um, so let's take out a couple parts here and I'll grab some capacitors. Let's grab this capacitor here and I just flicked it across the room. <laughs> oh well. All right, we'll get another one of those out. Uh, so you do need to be careful, of course. Uh, so this one is uh, 100 picofarads. Uh, this one is a 100 nanofarads. This one is 2 microfarads. Also, it's giving you the um, ESR value and the D value. Um, you can test at, um, well, I'll go one more um, up here to 10 microfarads, right? Um, so you can test at different frequencies, 10K, 100, uh, 100 hertz, 1K hertz, 10K hertz. So um, leave it here at 1K. Uh, here are some, uh, let's see, what are these? These are resistors. Uh, so we have uh, 988 milliohms, otherwise known as one ohm. Uh, this one is another one I flipped flipped across the room. There it is. The problem is I'm doing I'm looking in the camera at the same time, so I'm not paying attention. So 100 ohms, thousand ohms. Flick that one too. Gotta pay what pay attention to what I'm doing. Oops. All right. 10k. 100K and 1 meg ohm, 0.99 meg ohms. So that works great. Uh, here are some, uh, here's one micro Henry. Uh, there it is, that's 1.0 micro Henry's. Here's 10 micro Henry's, uh, one and a half ohms. Okay, so it thinks that is a uh, resistor one and a half ohms, but uh, so we need to tell it what mode we're in. So we'll sit, hit the uh, mode button, R's and C's. Now we told it, no, this is really, oh, this is an L. Uh, we'll tell it this is an L. And now it says it's 10.3 microhenry. So it's, it's great. It also has a uh, diode mode built in. Uh, let's see here. Let me go back to, let me just turn it on and off. I don't know how to go back to auto. Okay, so uh, here's a diode. I'm going to grab it and see. Oh, it wants to do the other thing. So let's put it into diode mode. Mode. Here we go. We'll put it into diode mode. Okay. Now when I grab it, 
it says it's the diode and it tells me what direction it's pointing. It's pointing that way, okay? It's point, point 0.5. So let me flip it around and grab it. Now it says it's pointing up, so it tells you which direction it is. So that's super handy. Unfortunately, it's only 0.6 volts, and so you can't use it with LEDs. It would be really great if you could if you could grab LEDs and know which way where which way around they were. Um, so anyway, uh, it works great. I really really like it. Um, so let's compare it to a couple things. Let's see. All right, I have a board here, a bunch of 0.01% resistors. So let's go here. Oops, let me go back to auto mode. Auto, here we go. Uh, so 9.995 ohms, that's pretty damn good. And the next one is 100.0, that passes. 999.9, .9, that passes. 1007, I'd say that's a pass. And 9999, so yeah, it measures, it measures things very accurately, I like it. Um, so uh, compared to my other instrument, which is gonna be more accurate, um, I wouldn't rely on this for accuracy, I would rely on this for, for sorting and stuff. I have a, um, I have my key site, uh, with a uh, tweezer atta attachment. I covered this before on the channel, but uh, you can get these, and now you're talking hundreds of dollars, and, uh, but you can, do the, uh, you can do the same thing. You can grab, uh, grab our inductor, and uh, it says it is ohms. Okay, so it, it's confused too, so I need to tell it, no, this is an inductor. Okay, grab it as an inductor. And it is saying it is 1.6 microhenries. What's the uh, one kilohertz? Let's grab it again. See how we're measuring. Yeah, 1.72 microhenries. So who is correct? the one zero microhenries or the 1.7 microhenries we don't know let's change the frequency to 10 10 kilohertz now we're measuring 1.6 and 100 kilohertz we're now measuring 1.4 okay so you know i don't think it's going to be extremely accurate but probably within a percent that type of thing. Um, maybe this was even off more than that, but um, I would say it is good. Uh, let's take a look at the specifications that comes with the device. Let me check a couple of these other things here. Let me check uh, one of these capacitors down here. Let's see, oops, let me go to capacitor mode. Uh, let's see, capacitor mode. Oh, 100 kilohertz, let's go back to 1K hertz. Okay, 1K hertz, now they'll match. This one is measuring 1.97, and this one is measuring 1.98, okay? So capacitance, it's, it's uh, quite good. Uh, let's see, let's try, let's try this one. This one's measuring uh, 957 picofarads. And the key sight measures 957 picofarads. There you go. So picofarad wise, they're super accurate. Resistance wise, they're super accurate. Seems like the inductance is off, off a tad bit. But like I said, certainly good enough for sorting and things. Um, and and, and uh, talking of sorting, I um, <laughs> uh, went around and I have a drawer that I keep my surface mount stuff in, and there was a bunch of loose surface mount floating around in there, and I used a magnet to grab them. I don't know why they're always magnetic. Maybe they did that on purpose, but you can pick them up with a magnet. 
And then on uh, this row here, I had a whole bunch of things I didn't know what they were. Okay, so, you know, I would grab one and say, what is it? Oh, that's uh, 90, that's 100, uh, 100 nanofarads. Okay. And uh, what's this one over here? I was shocked about this one. I grabbed this one. And it is uh, 14 micro, um, uh, you know, microfarads. So that, that's a tiny little part for 14 microfarads. So, yeah, those are expensive. Should keep a hold of that one. Uh oh, and I just flicked him across the room. So he's gone now. <laughs> oh, here he goes. Uh, let's test him with the, uh, let's test him with the key site. So this one says it's 13.66. This one says it's 13.9. So yeah, pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Turn that off. Anyway. I do like this thing. I think it's like 30 bucks, 35 bucks, something like that. I think it's a steal. Uh, yeah, I go out and get one when, they, uh, when they're available. I think the last time I checked their website, they weren't available. They were sold out, but um, yeah, try to get one of these. Okay, so that's my review of the Zoe uh, ZT-MD1. Uh, I approve.